Hi, I'm Taylor here from Adrenaline Spearfishing. Um, today we're going to be setting up a Rob Allen reel onto a Rob Allen Sparrow. Um, you're going to need some reel line, the Rob Allen reel. With the Rob Allen reel, it's going to come with a muzzle line guard and some screws. Um, also, it will come with a bracket so you can attach it to any other gun. Um, you're also going to need some scissors and a lighter. Okay, so we start off by flicking the mono off the line release. And because it's the Rob Allen reel with a dovetail bracket, all the pressure will be at the front, so it won't be able to slide through. Put it on its side, make sure you get it nice there, and slide it on. Put it on nice and firm, and after that, we'll move to the front of the gun, and we'll put on your line guard. So when we're running reels on our guns, there'll be no need for a bungee, so I'm just going to remove it, and put your mono. Need bungee back there. From there, we're going to put our muzzle line guard on there. So all we have to do is remove this screw and replace the countersunk screw that comes with the real kit. Okay, so now that we've attached our line guard, we can get our real line, pass it through the hole, run it straight down to your reel. Make sure you run it through the line guard on your reel as well. And there's an anchor on the reel base itself, so you just have to thread through your reel. Come on. So you just have to thread through your reel line. Now that you've run your reel line to the base of your reel, we're just going to do a simple figure eight knot. So flip it over, run it back through. It should start to look something like that. Let's nice pull it tight. We try to use as least amount of tail as possible, but if it's out, nothing wrong with just trimming up the reel line. Now I like to Burn the ends of the reel line just in case. And that's it. Now just pull it back through. You'll notice it won't stop. It won't pull through on your reel line at all. Now the first few spools on your line on your reel should be nice and neat. So just go nice and slow. You also want to be keeping constant tension to make sure it's on there nice and tight. You want to eventually have something looking like that for about five schools. Okay, so now that you've put your whole spool of reel, Onto your reel line. I'm just going to put a snap clip swivel on. This is how I usually run my reel line setup. Just going to do a real simple knot. Wrap around a few times. And thread your snap clip through the middle. So now that's nice and tight. Give it a little trim, clean it up. Again, I use a lighter just to throw, uh, stop the drain on the ends. That'll help in not, in not pulling through. Now, you run it straight to your mono. Put your snap fit back on. Now you're pretty well ready to run. Right guys, that's how you do it. Now make sure when you're diving with reels, make sure you dive safely with your buddy at all times. But um, for any more how-to videos, go to our YouTube channel or visit us at www.spearfishing.com.au.